Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you a 2024 version of how to get the Maui melee weapon. Before we start, I just want to say that I strongly recommend doing this halfway through an hour to give yourself enough time to complete the maze whilst not having to sit for ages waiting for a timer. If you want to be notified when more tutorials drop, or if you want to support a small YouTuber, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps. Now that all that's said and done, let's get into the tutorial. If you watched my last video, you'll know all about the different arsenal codes which can take you to different maps. To get this free melee weapon, we're actually going to be using one of the codes and it's going to be your Roblox profile ID. I'll now show you a quick clip on how to get your ID. To find your Roblox user ID, you're going to want to go to your profile in a browser. You're going to want to go to the URL and you're going to want to copy and paste these numbers. Alrighty. Now that you've got your profile ID, you're going to just want to redeem code, paste, hit redeem, and then it should take you over. If it doesn't automatically do it, you might have to just click it a few times, and then just spam some random stuff, it really doesn't matter, because it's not going to actually load up a game. Then load in, and off you go. You're going to want to find a ladder, go up it, and you're going to want to find the entrance to a cave. You'll know once you've found it because there'll be obviously a cave entrance. You want to find the railway tracks, follow them to the end, into the black bit, smack the box on the floor so it turns green. This will open up the waterfall. So if you exit the cave and go to the bridge through the left, you'll see the waterfall down on your left. Go onto this little ledge here, jump into the waterfall, and you want to smack these, changing the colour, and you want the order to be red, blue, green, green, red, blue. The door will now open and you'll have access to a facility. What you're going to want to do is walk around until you find all the posters on the wall. There should be three. They'll all have a number and a shape on them. If you see ghosts, obviously they're the white ghost that you just saw. He's harmless, just don't shoot him, otherwise he will kill you. But if you hear music playing and knocking, I'd recommend you just stand still. Just so you don't risk the temptation of turning around because if you turn around you will die so here I am just walking around trying to find all the posters there is a invisible barrier and if you hit it you'll get a glitch on your screen yeah, there we go. and it teleports you back to the start but once you've found all three posters and taken the numbers down off them along with the shape you're going to want to find the door that is locked with a keypad that doesn't have a countdown on it, so it's just a completely plain keypad. And you want to enter them in the order of circle, triangle, square. So if one of your posters was a triangle with a three, a circle with a four, and a square with a five, you'd enter four, three, five. Everyone has their own different codes and they're never the same. So once you've done that, it'll enter you into a maze. I'll put a photo of the maze onto the screen now. If you can't see it greatly on the screen, because I won't know until I'm editing it, I will also put it in my Discord for you to join. So I'll leave a link to my Discord in the description. And I, I look like an absolute bot when I do this, but I always do it so I'm facing in the same direction as the map. It just makes it so much easier to do because You've got limited vision in the maze, it is pretty difficult to see. So you want to just follow the pink line all the way around, well not all the way around, you want to follow the pink line until you see a gap in the wall where you can access the yellow line. I'll circle that around on the map now. Once you've done the maze a few times, it does get easier, but when you find the gap that takes you to the yellow line, you want to follow the yellow line all the way around to the grey line, and the grey line will take you to the clock. 
I decided to skip ahead so you wouldn't have to sit through the rest of the maze. But once you're at the clock, you've just got to wait until it hits the next hour, and then you'll just hear a little chiching sound. It is sort of like that, but you'll know when you hear it. The Maui Knife was originally from an event called Night's End. It was hosted in 2022. It was one of seven items available and is one of only three items still available. Some other items from the event include Delinquent with Enchantment Unusual, the Portal Kill Effect and the Night's Edge Sword. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing. I am trying really hard to grow my channel and all support, even just a comment, is greatly appreciated. Over the next few weeks I should hopefully be coming out with more and more tutorials so stay tuned for that and apart from that that's pretty much all I have to say. Have a great day or night and see you in the next one.